My name is Mridul and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 beauty tools that every girl should have. So stay tuned. But basically, these are all the products that I use, tend to use every single day or at least on a weekly basis. And I have noticed that they just make my life easier. So I thought I would share these with you guys in today's video. So let's get started. So the first product that I have for you guys are exfoliating gloves or mitts. Now, let me explain what they are. Basically, you're supposed to wear these when you're showering I would say once or twice a week definitely not more than that because these are supposed to be like exfoliating so you could use a scrub if you want with this if you want like extreme exfoliation but if you have sensitive skin I would recommend just going in with a regular body wash and just exfoliating your body and it's going to make your skin very soft and very exfoliated of course now I actually started using these like four or five years ago and I got my first pair from forever 21 but then um, um, Forever 21 stopped selling them and I didn't know where to get them from so I stopped using them because I didn't have any so I finally found these on Amazon I think I got a set of four gloves and one glove actually lasts you a really long time so you don't need to keep replacing them I feel like one glove would at least last you like three to four months at a minimum now this glove is actually really really good if you have dry rough flaky skin if you want to get rid of dry dead cells from your skin this is really really good and it's very inexpensive so I will definitely recommend. Product number two is a lint roller. Now this product was definitely more relevant I would say like two years ago when there wasn't a pandemic and a lockdown and where we would actually step out of our houses I would use this basically every single day but even now when I'm filming um, or taking pictures I will still use this. So basically if you don't know what this is a lint roller is essentially a roller okay and it has paper all over it which is like a sticky paper so you're supposed to run this on your clothes and it's supposed to pick up all the lint or um loose threads if you have pets then hair like pet hair also off of your clothes and it's just supposed to make your outfit and your clothes look very like clean and polished and just basically get rid of the lint if you wear black leggings this is definitely something that you need in your life because black leggings get dirty so easily and this just does such a good job at like refreshing your black leggings so i'm just gonna quickly show you how i lint roll my t-shirt now black usually tends to collect a lot of lint and fuzz so um you'll see very soon the whole lint roller is going to be covered with lint and once you're done rolling like on your um, clothes you can actually peel this off i believe the lint roller that i have has 60 sheets and um as a zaruri nahi hai ki ek bar you've used it so you have to peel it off it really depends how much glue is still on the lint roller I personally end up using one sheet, I would say for three different pieces of clothing. I got this one with like three refills from Amazon. Again, very inexpensive. And I think this is a must have for everyone. The next product is a gua sha. I don't have it here with me, which I'm really upset about. I am considering buying another one for me to keep here because the one that I own is back at the studio. And I actually used to use it quite consistently. And I do personally see a difference in my face. So let me just explain what a gua sha is. Basically, it's a piece of rock or crystal the one that I own is a rose quartz one and it's shaped in a specific way for you to basically um, massage your face and help drain out your lymphatic system so if you feel like your face has gotten puffy I'm not talking about like weight gain but just like fluid wala jo puffy hota hai, subha subha, um, a jeep sa swelling ho jata hai, like around here and even under the eyes for me personally and over time I have noticed that it helps you kind of chisel out your face I have seen a lot of YouTube videos also where people use it every single day for a month and they see a drastic difference because I mean it makes sense you know like how um, when we were little like as babies malish hota hai, wherein they kind of um, like massage your body and try to carve your features almost is what I've heard and it does seem to work and I also have personally used it I wish I used it a little bit more consistently wherein I could see results but I definitely do intend on doing it I have made an in detail video as to how I give myself a facial using it so I will link my facial routine in the description box below but a gua sha 
Tata is definitely on top of the list when it comes to devices or products that I recommend every girl should have. Let's talk about facial hair. So for the purpose of this video, I actually bought so many face razors like the famous wheat electronic razor um, and I did not like it at all. I know it's really raved about but I don't see the hype behind it. I even tried facial um, electronic razors which are nice but the one that I would recommend um, to you guys is this one. Now this isn't a regular bada wala um, face razor, the one that everyone seems to use. This is half the size. Now this one I would recommend specifically for your eyebrows. Actually, I personally use this all over my face because I feel like how tiny it is. If you want a reference as to how small and tiny this is, the actual razor is smaller than my nail, like my pinky nail. That's how tiny it is. I love that about this razor because it helps me get very precise. And um, the thing with automatic razors is that I feel very scared using them on my face because the skin on your face is obviously very delicate so I like to have more control which is why I recommend using a manual razor and this one specifically this does such a good job at getting rid of all of your eyebrow hair because the bada wala razor was a little bit difficult to get in like around your eyebrows this does not cause any sort of problem I love this razor so I will definitely recommend this tool to all you guys the next product I have mentioned once in my favorites video um basically this is an electronic toothbrush now this is by the brand called oral b and i don't think i can ever go back to using like regular toothbrushes this cleans your teeth like nothing else like a manual toothbrush could never like every time i use this i feel like i've gotten a cleanup done by a dentist and from what i've researched electronic toothbrushes do clean your teeth a lot better than a manual one and i can actually feel it in my mouth so if you can afford it or if you want to invest invest in one or if you want to even gift someone I think this is such a good gift after a couple of months you're just supposed to get rid of this and then you can buy refills so that the bristles are fresh and clean abhi uh, mine actually looks pretty good I've been using this for a while actually I think I got this I feel like four or five months ago and it's still doing pretty pretty good you are supposed to charge it by the way it comes with a charger so you charge it and then it does its job and it also makes your life a lot easier in the morning i know this is such a first world problem but when you wake up in the morning for me personally the last thing that i want to do is like brush my teeth so this you just press a button and then it brushes for you i sound so lazy saying this but it really does make your life so much better and i will recommend this you will not regret it how can i do a video talking about beauty tools and beauty devices and not mention this face steamer i know i've mentioned this face steamer way too many times at this point but it's just so good and it's so relevant. So just to summarize, you have to fill water here. And electronic, so you just plug it in, press this button and literally within 10 to 20 seconds, this will start dispensing a very thick cloud of steam. So you can obviously use it to give yourself an at-home facial or you can just use it to steam yourself. Not steam yourself. That doesn't sound right. I mean to steam um, because you're supposed to steam, right? With the whole COVID thing going on. So this is a really, really good steamer. One of the best ones out there. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I already have in the past. But you have my word. It's a really good one. Next. Now this product, I feel like I have mentioned but it was a while ago and this is just something that I use literally every single time I wash my hair that it needed to be mentioned basically this is a scalp brush and this is by this brand called wow you don't have to buy this specific one I've seen on Amazon there are such cute ones in like the cutest color so you can definitely pick up like a nice cute pink or a teal but uh, they all essentially do the same thing they have like a silicone uh, bristles ka coat here pe. and when you shampoo your hair you're just supposed to use this in some motions to kind of give your scalp an exfoliation and also if you struggle with um, getting rid of oil from your hair like when you give yourself a chumpy uske baad jab baal dhote, agar problem hota hai teel nikalne mein, try this this will make your life a lot easier because this does help with lathering your shampoo and you can like really get in there like in all the nooks and crannies I guess and also if you have long nails like me this is a lifesaver actually regardless if you have long nails or not I feel like this is something that everyone should try for themselves because 
yeah it just makes my scalp feel very nice and very clean if you have dandruff also this is really good for you by the way i do want to put it out there that this is not aggressive whatsoever i know it looks a little bit intimidating to put it on your scalp but the bristles are very very gentle as i mentioned it's silicone so it's very very like gentle on your scalp if you have extremely sensitive scalp then maybe you would want to do like a patch test peeche kahi par before like using it full on but i think for the most part you should be good to go I have one more product related to like washing your hair. So basically, I have a shower cap for you guys. Now, I never really used to use shower caps because I just didn't see the point of it, but I use it in a unique way. So basically, every single time, most of the time actually whenever I wash my hair, I do a hair mask in my hair. So, um I would just do my hair mask and I would leave the bun like I would tie a loose bun niche and just leave it. Um and then I would move on to shaving my body, exfoliating my body. Body doing all of that, and for the next ten fifteen minutes, when I'm doing all of that, the hair mask would just sit there, and the water from like my hair would drip on my back, and that gave me back acne, back acne. Um, I already do struggle with acne on my face, and I've always had it like on and off on my back, but especially whenever I do these masks. I tend to break out a lot more because there's like moisture that's being collected on my back and it's a little bit difficult to clean your back right so um I've noticed that every time I do a hair mask I do tend to break out which is why I picked up this shower cap and this has like a silk lining so it's supposed to be a little bit more gentle on your hair I think this product specifically is helpful for people like me who do struggle with back acne I think this is definitely something that you can try out for yourself the next product that I have is a dry brush now dry brushing is actually an ayurvedic practice which is something that you're supposed to do as a part of your morning routine not every single day i personally just do it like once a month why are you supposed to use it so it's really good for exfoliation because you're literally just brushing it dry on your skin so it just helps you get rid of all the dry cells and just the build up number 2 this is supposed to help you with your lymphatic drainage now every time you use it the strokes that you use are supposed to be towards your heart so really good for that and really good for blood circulation and it said that if you use it over a period of time it can help you get rid of cellulite now that is not something that i personally um intend on doing like i don't really care about my cellulite but if that is something that really bothers you i think you should definitely look a little bit more into dry brushing i got my dry brush from amazon and i will say like i use this especially used to use this a lot right before like a special event as a part of my pampering routine and i do feel like my skin does have like a unique glow after using this obviously if you have very dry or sensitive skin use it very very gently because it is a little bit i don't want to say harsh on your skin but it's not the mildest i will say that so you don't want to use it overuse it use it when you need it like i would say like once a month probably if you can handle it maybe twice or thrice a month also i have definitely seen the benefits of dry brushing so if you are interested in this concept i would definitely encourage you guys to read a little bit more about it do your own research because it's very interesting i really like to like look into all of these ayurvedic rituals and practices and this is very fascinating to me and i would recommend you guys to check this out next up we have a pedicure tool now this is something that i specifically ordered for my mom because she does tend to have really dry and cracked feet and i got this tool which has three interchangeable heads so you can decide for yourself the intensity that you want to go for so i don't really have dry or cracked feet but i still wanted to try this out for myself and i will say i've never had softer feet my heels feel so nice and so smooth and i personally like to use the medium intensity wala pumice stone and one more thing to remember is that you do not want to hold this in one place more than like 3 seconds keep moving it around because it is a little bit intense right so keep moving it around and this does come with three heads and all these heads do have like a plastic around it so please make sure to peel it off before you use it and this is going to be kind of gross but this is all the dead skin that came off of my feet and to conclude i will totally recommend this product this is the next product now this is a face steamer <laughs> face steamer 
this is the next product and this is a clothes steamer so i personally hate ironing clothes i don't know what it is about ironing clothes i dread ironing my clothes so this has made my life a lot easier obviously pehle kafi zyada use karte the um but even now i do tend to like film and take pictures and stuff like that so i do need to like iron or um steam my clothes because wrinkly clothes are not cute so um i do use this quite a lot again yahan pe pani bharna hai and then you just press the button and the steam that comes out of here is very intense let me tell you that you must use the heat protectant glove that comes with this because this can totally like burn you so you do want to be careful with that is by this brand called rossman so if you're lazy like me definitely check out a face steamer it's a lot faster i've noticed as compared to ironing this video just kind of proves that i'm lazy and i just use a bunch of tools to make my life easier but that's the whole point of like inventions and products right so yeah this is my last product for you guys and yeah that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video let me know what you thought in the comments down below if you enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel we're so close to 400k so i would love it if you guys subscribe to my channel and follow me on my instagram follow simba lifestyle follow skion and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye